Employing their knowledge of agricultural basins, the Egyptians would have constructed a dam in the Khufu Basin to make it possible for water transport to continue all year. When the annual inundation began, the Egyptians allowed the Nile water to flow into the basin, traveling between two mounds, Nazalet El Sisi and Nazalet El Batran, bringing an influx of water to the Giza Plateau. Khufu's builders dug, expanding the existing canal between Nazalet El Sisi and Nazalet El Batran, making it broader and deeper and connecting the Nile with the probable small lake. The canal expansion made it possible for the Egyptians to deliver stones and supplies even closer to the Great Pyramid base. During this time, large boats were delivering massive granite for the interior pyramid chambers from Aswan and casing limestone for the surface of the pyramid from Tura. The Egyptians were unloading the cargo close to the Khufu Pyramid from the Khufu Quarry site. This proposed site was near the current Khafre Harbor Temple location. In anticipation of dam construction, the Egyptians prepared stones and clay at the top of the bank where the dam was to be built. At the moment the water began to recede, construction of the dam in the Khufu Basin started. Dams were not a novel concept to the Egyptians. We know they had experience constructing the dam at Saad el Khafara. It is common knowledge that beavers are masterful dam builders and that the Russians did a good job building the dam at Aswan. If these engineers could master the art, it is safe to assume that the Egyptian engineers who built the Great Pyramid were more than capable of building a dam in the Khufu Basin, which could have been built using short vertical limestone walls on both sides of the canal bank beginning at the canal bank's lowest point and extending to its highest point. The dam's base could be one layer of stones on the bottom with a wooden railing that had ropes attached. The ropes acted as a guidance system for the stone placement during the dam's construction. By the end of flooding, when water began receding, the dam would be completed by sliding the ropes from the canal banks into the canal's center and dropping stones into the water where needed. Clay, widely available tafla, would have sealed the dam from leaking. Water levels were constantly changing due to leakage, evaporation, and use by sluices. As a result, the water level in the basin would slowly recede, and the top part of the dam, above the water level, would be disassembled. 